अनबॉक्सिंग ओ बी डी टू पोर्ट और न्यू स्विफ्ट एलेक्स आई installation disk okay here we have the ELM 327 OBT2 port protocol looks very good but let me check whether it works or not Hi friends. See the welcome lights in our car. Um, what we are going to do today is we are going to connect this ELM three two seven OBD two protocol, and uh, we'll pair it with the phone and check. Yeah, first. We'll do find the place to connect. We'll show you where to connect actually. This LED is uh, glaring a lot. Just turn off. This is exactly where we have the OBD port. Yeah, this is the OBD port. So let me attach it. I'll remove and again attach. See, as we are attaching, this blinking at different colors. And once it is paired, you can see um, the red color glowing. Yeah. Let me start the ignition and show you. How to connect this and all that. Okay, now that we have uh, connected the OBD port to the car, what you have to do is just open the car scanner app. Already have installed car scanner. Okay. And now you can see the status. It is coming as ELM connection and ECU connection. Right now the ELM connection is disconnected. I need to turn on the Bluetooth first. Okay. And uh, see this OBD2 at a pair. It's like a pair. It will be connected. I'll just be connected it is trying to connect so ELM is connected when the ELM was getting connected it was there was light blinking okay I've disconnected and when I connect you can see the light blinks okay. you see the lights blinking showing that both are Pad. But to connect the ECU, we need to start the ignition. We have to connect the ECU we need to start the ignition. Yeah, so let me start the engine. See, as soon as I started the engine, the ECU also got connected, and you could see lights blinking. right okay next thing that I want to show you is in this app we can go to the dashboard and in dashboard we have different menus first I'll go to the first page you can see 
the RPM here. Yeah. The coolant temperature, the RPM, the speed of the vehicle. Right now I have just parked it. It's in the parking mode, so no issues. Uh, in case of Maruti vehicle, that is Swift, Baleno, things like that, vehicles like that, uh, will have, uh, you know, idling period. I don't know whether you could hear the engine noise inside the cabin, but as soon as we start, it will be at idling. So, uh, when it is maintaining the idling, it, the RPM will be above 2000 or at least 2000. Uh, now it has the idling has become uh, you know low so it is at 1000 what I'll do now I'll try to give throttle acceleration and see what happens it's an ordinary vehicle it doesn't come up with speedometer like odometer sorry <laughs> what's wrong it doesn't come up with a tachometer we have only the speedometer and the odometer as well as showing some basic information. So here we have tachometer which is uh, now which can be followed. And also we can customize the menu here. What we have here is you see when we are um, <coughs> logging into the app itself we can mention uh, with the units whichever we want. So this is showing liter per hour if i give throttle how many liter per hour it will be consuming at that range also speed uh, the engine rpm you can see fuel used distance traveled yeah all the information will be available yes um, okay and also <coughs> acceleration test I never tried it maybe for this we have to run the vehicle engine diagnostic codes when we bring this tool we can just click on to read yes trouble codes okay and I just give read okay you can just obd to engine unit whichever you want to just check you can check and click on read so right now it is reading one of nine I don't know whether you are able to see it clearly it's a whole the phone that I'm using to capture rest of the thing okay Alright, you can see now with this reading. Sorry about the length of the video, but now it is reading for the error. Basically, you will get errors here like seat belt um, and uh, Handbrake, alarm, speed limit, warnings, all that we'll get uh, in case of uh, uh, any problem there in the battery or engine oil or coolant, something we'll get intimated here. However, using this IC uh, device, we'll also be able to read and troubleshoot, find the problems and solve. Okay. Um, also, you will be able to record, say some statistics, wow, see, so far <coughs> what I have used, the speed that I maintained, uh, <coughs> all these things, fuel used price, <laughs> oh my god, I have uh, mentioned as to uh, 10, sorry, 104 rupees per liter, so it is just giving the data um, it is also looking asking for 
uh, upgrading or uh, uh, downloading some other application in order to check few other things see it also finds sensors obd what is the obd voltage and all other things engine coolant temperature which is not there in dashboard see yeah intake manifold pressure oh my god so everything even oxygen sensor it's a bs6 vehicle so there are a lot of things followed yeah. right when we are taking all this reading you can find the obd device blinking yes. okay what i don't like with this obd tool is we cannot have it connected 24 bar 7 it may drain the battery so that is one thing that i don't like um, every time connecting it and keeping it somewhere disconnecting it placing it somewhere safely um, that's a hustle otherwise that's a good thing hope you enjoyed um, it's a great tool to find uh, any problems on the go in the vehicle like whatever we face we'll be able to troubleshoot say for example uh, uh, i have parked the vehicle here in the parking for one or two days i'm not touching the vehicle just in case rat bites any wire and i'm not able to start the engine i don't have to wait for a mechanic to come from wherever yeah so we can just find the fault and try to sort it by ourselves so in such a way this tool is going to be very helpful to us well with that thank you